Hey guys, Michi here from Germany. Everybody knows this. The Red Boar on Premier. Everybody knows it. Everybody hates it. Warp stabilizer and speed can't be used on the same clip. Well, you lie, Premier. We can, and I'm going to show you how to work around this issue. We have a clip right here, it's pretty sweet. Um it's a precision jump or just a jump to roll. It's filmed with a GoPro and it's way too shaky, way too shaky for me. So we want to stabilize it and apply speed. So we want to get it a little bit slower. But there is this issue in Premiere and After Effects which is called or which will pop up. It's a um, reddish bar in the middle of your screen which says warp stabilizer and speed can be used at the same time or with the same clip. So here's the workaround. First of all, I recommend you to click the clip and nest it. Uh, sorry, nest it. So now in this project window, you're going to see nested or yeah, nested sequence, and the, your your clip will change its color. Now it's nested. It's a it's a new sequence. You can double click it and enter the sequence. Now you see here's your clip. So what you're going to do, you double click the sequence. Go to Window, Effects, and search for Warp, W A R P, and Stabilizer. I won't search for that because I'm going to search for the German word for it. Okay, if you have it, drag it down, apply it. This blue bar is going to pop up, which says uh, Analyzing in the background. You can watch the analyzation if you click on Window and the thing that's written under effects. We're in. Don't forget to click the clip and here you have it. Warp stabilizer, estimated time 2 minutes, 20%, 45 frames of about 200. I'm going to get back to you guys when this is done. Oh and don't forget to, when I'm using, what I use with Poco Clips is I use the method position scale and rotation and always set this to about 10% because otherwise the window or the, the the footage is going to be way too scaled in. Okay guys we're back warp stabilizer just finished analyzing and it finished the stabilization the clip looks way nicer now and it's not that shaky anymore I'm going to try to preview it to you guys um, I clicked enter enter so it's will render the sequence <laughs> Okay, there we have it. Jump, land, roll. There we have it. Okay, so that's what happened in the sequence. Now we can close this nested sequence and jump back to our old sequence. Here we're going to apply the speed. I always do it like this. Click this little arrow that's pointing down. Go to time, speed, and then just drag it down. Boom. And there you have it. Now there is no red bar that there's just nothing so there we have it in slow motion slow motion land and roll so that's it that's how to work around this issue if they have another way just feel free to post it in the comment section below I would love if you guys would subscribe give me some love and share this video if you want to or like it or just subscribe. If you have questions, feel free to post it down in the comment section below. I'm not beginner, but let's say intermediate. I'm going to try to answer it or I'm going to redirectly redirect you to some friends of mine. So please be patient. I'm sorry for my bad English. I'm from Germany, 16 years old student, but I'm working on that. See you soon.